being creative is hard. When I first released that video about talking about life and stuff, you know, just a couple weeks ago, I said that I could talk for a while about my experiences with YouTube as a platform, and so I've decided to actually commit to that. You guys know me by now. Hi, I'm Cade. I like yapping about stuff. I wanted to talk to you today about YouTube and my experiences with the platform ever since I started. The first time I discovered YouTube was when a classmate in primary school showed me. I thought it was wonderful. It was a social media platform like no other. Mind you, I was like seven or eight, so I wouldn't have even had a concept of what a social media was. YouTube was a brand new thing. People would post videos and share music and stuff that they really enjoyed. Why? Because they wanted to. There was no ulterior motive to it. It was raw, unadulterated content. It was the best thing I'd ever seen at the time. I was proud of the content, but my classmates didn't think so. They obviously thought that a lot of my content was cringe. And I was just a kid at the time, so maybe they were right. By the time I settled into my new school, this would have been about 2010, 2011, I deleted that channel. Right after I deleted it, I started a brand new channel with a new username. That channel also, of course, never took off. I mean, kind of just the fact of... Kind of just the fact of the map. Oh my god, how many squids are there here? By that point, I was still posting cringe content, and I'm glad it didn't really take off. I had a couple of one-off moments. Like, I thought 200 views was fantastic at the time. The very first quote-unquote Let's Play video I did uh, is officially lost to time. That world that I played on does not exist. Oh, missed a piece of wood. Nice. Later that year, I started recording on a brand new world. Funny enough, it's the same world we're still in. Except now we're in a completely different area from the original spawn location. I created that world. I created this world in beta 1.1. So early 2011. And this is the only thing left of those younger versions of me. All that inspiration, that aspiration, all of it to create something. I need cobblestone. The inspiration to create content has always been there. And yeah. Do I, would I think it's cool to create content as a full-time job? That would be awesome. It's not gonna happen. Where's all my cobblestone? Wait, don't tell me I used all of it. What the heck? Back then, before I even knew I had ADHD, um, there was something special about it. I always knew that. But that ADHD would not... Ooh. Must be something back there. My ADHD wouldn't let me stick to one channel, one idea. Which is how I ended up with so many ideas and so many channels and stuff. So after my second YouTube channel, I, del I did not delete that one, but I created another. And this one was solely dedicated to Minecraft. This would have been about 2012, maybe 2013. And on that channel, it was, like I said, dedicated Minecraft content. I wanted to at some point in my life, like we all did. I wanted to be like the YouTubers, like Captain Sparkles, or Ant Venom, or the Yogg's cast. I thought it was such a cool idea. That channel is still around today. It's only got a couple of videos, but it does exist. Funny enough, I used to play Minecraft with a guy called Sarvison. And yes, he's the exact same Sarvison that I still stream with. Hell, I was just playing Helldivers with him this morning. And that's totally wild to think about how long we've been playing games together. I'm hoping that chicken doesn't get into that, uh, into the farm. You can make content. Anyone can make content. As long as you have, like, a camera, 
and the ability to upload onto the internet. Give me that, Heather. As long as you have those things, those minimum specs, you're able to create something. So, I guess what I'm saying is, I guess, I guess what I'm saying here is, if you have the urge to make a piece of content, or this idea that could be good, could be bad, I think you should go for it. Make whatever you want to make. Cook whatever you want to cook. Let him cook, right? I think the idea of being able to share your thoughts online, it's great. People will love it. People will hate it. But in the end, they're yours. So, so long as you're being true to who you are as a person, what's the problem? Now we've hit that point in the video where I have to say thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you're wondering where the hell this house came from and all the little elements that I've been working on, I was streaming Minecraft over at twitch.tv slash Peon. It's where I do my normal VTuber thing, but we play Minecraft sometimes. And I had the urge to start building this little village because I had this idea in my head. And if you want to keep up with the stream stuff, go watch, go watch me or follow me on Twitch. It'd be greatly appreciated, but you don't have to. A follow is free. Do what you want. Well, let's just say it like this. Make content, don't make content. It's entirely up to you. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.